We'll guide you through how to fix Windows security being blank in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. There are a few different things you can try to go and fix this. So first of all, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in Windows security like so, and there it is, and select app settings like so. And then what you need to do is scroll down and locate Windows security, come over to the right and click on the three dots and click on advanced options. Come and scroll down until you get to reset. We've got these two different options here. So firstly, you can try doing a repair, click there and it'll try and fix it. And then what you can do is try opening it up and see if it fixes your problem. If it still doesn't, then what you can do is come and do a reset. So click on reset, click on reset again, and you can do that. And then you can open it up and go and see if it fixes your problem. If it still hasn't, then what I recommend you do is simply try restarting your computer. That may go and solve the problem if it's some sort of glitch or something. So come to the bottom and click on the Windows icon, then come over to the right and click on the power button and you can go and do a restart. Super simple, but it may solve your problem. The next thing you can try doing is coming to the bottom of your computer, click on search and type in PowerShell, it should appear. Right click on it though and click on run it as administrator. You go and get a pop up and you need to click on yes. Now what you need to do is go into the description of this video and I'll go and put this line in here. What you need to do is highlight it, right click on it and press copy and then go and right click with your mouse in PowerShell and it'll paste it, press enter and it'll then go and initialize this. Finally, if nothing has worked in this video, then what you may need to do is go and reset your computer. To do that, click on the Windows Start button and click on Settings. Come over to the left and click on System. Scroll through your system until you come across Recovery, just here and go and click on it. And then you have the option for Reset This PC. You can come over to the right and go and click on Reset PC and go through the process. And hopefully that will then go and solve your problem. This is, of course, it's like a last resort, but that should fix it. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.